your forehead with the following blessings, with the following qualities, with the following promises. Number one, you'll be a sanctified vessel. Number two, you'll be a useful vessel. And you'll be a prepared vessel for God's work. When we talk about meditate upon sanctified vessel, do we have that experience with a preacher? People are preaching for ten thousand people. It's good. God has chosen him for the purpose to preach. That's right. Appreciate it. But being a preacher of the church, it is it's applicable for us also. We need to. Be sanctified every day only through this word of God. Then only God will use, use this vessel, sanctified vessel for the glory of God. How many of us really we are here in the presence of the Lord as a sanctified vessel? Then useful vessel, it says. How many of you really useful to the house of the Lord? God has given you a lot of talents, gifts, blessings. Useful in the mean that everything is useful to the Lord's work. To your family, if your house, your children, and the gifts and talents what the Lord has bestowed upon you. Everything should be useful. For the God's work, not only your money. May I give you a small uh, uh, such, I mean, suggestion. It's, it is uh, mentioned in the uh, John chapter 1, verses 40 41. I think P Philip asked Nathaniel to come and uh, just to read. Uh, Forty six Nazareth, can anything good come from there? Nathaniel asked. Come and see, said Philip. When Jesus saw Nathaniel approaching, he said of him, It is a true Israelite in whom there is nothing false. So may I place before you a request, humble plea to every one of you that the purpose. God has placed you here to be useful. When you meet unreached people, people of in their preparation, we see in the society everywhere, in the shopping area, even the small boys and girls, brothers and sisters, request you to speak to the person as God Lord commanded the gospel. Gospel is go and spell the love of Christ. Share with them. You don't need to preach so many messages. It is not only the responsibility of the ministers of God. It's the responsibility the Lord has entrusted in your hand. What you could do? What is your part to be useful? You can just say, come and see. As Philip said, he preached only this message. Come and see. When you share this message, to non-Christian, to heathen, Gentile, even youth outside, friends, come and see. Once he entered in the presence of the Lord, in the house of the Lord, everything will be taken care of, our Lord Jesus Christ. Would you do this kind of small ministry? Even small youngsters, I'm asking. You can do this wonderful message, wonderful ministry. This is what the Lord expects you and from you and me that we must be useful number three prepared vessel how many of us we feel that we are prepared to do god's work when the preacher minister announced we do have such and such a service sunday's program youth program sunday school ministry women's ministry outreach ministry so on how many of us respond that we are ready to work for the law? If you are prepared here on this year, so 
quite okay to enter into the Lord kingdom than in heaven. How many of us would say that? Realize in the presence of the Lord. Lord, I commit my total life unto thee. I want to be a sanctified vessel. I want to be a very useful vessel in the house of the Lord. I want to be a prepared vessel to do thy work, Lord. May I give you a small illustration? In the forest, there are about three growing trees together, sharing, discussing about the future. The first one asks, second one, what are you going to be? The second one asks, the third one, what are you going to be? What, is it, what about your future? The first one said, I'm going to become a very big tree and I'll be made out of a box, out of wood, I'll become a box to keep all the precious, very costly, valuable diamond and gold in, to be kept in the box. Then the second tree said, I want to become big tree and that will be made out of that wood a big ship to go all around the, the world to see all the countries and enjoy my life and people should uh, respect me and evaluate me as I'm so rich like then the third tree said I want to become a very big tree not tall tall and tallest tree so that everybody would look upon me and salute me and respect me. That is my ambition. Say, just imagine when three women are gathered to discuss something about what would be the result. I don't know about here in America. In India, we say that if two women or three women join together, there will be a lot of problem. <laughs> just for joke, I say. <laughs> 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 we make a joke even the boys and friends and women gather there. Then how about you may think, you may ask, how about women, men? <laughs> what, men? Man is equal to three, four, one. Women. <laughs> men take any decision like. The story goes like, after some time, the carpenter, he wanted to cut off all these trees and make according to his <coughs> plan purpose. Days went on carpenter and his assistant with all the instruments, they entered into the forest to cut. Then these three trees said anonymously, no, 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 don't touch us. We have a great plan, purpose. Please do not touch. Carpenter said, who are you to say all this? I have every right. I have planted here. I am the owner of this place. I can do anything, whatever I need. Then immediately, May cut everything to pieces and then finish job and went on. After some time, one day, this first number one tree became a real small box kept in the manger to keep baby Lord Jesus Christ. And Joseph and Mary went into that place, they kept in that place. What the moment of joy, he jumped like anything and said, Oh, people, I expected that people would respect me, value, give, give value for my precious box. Now I'm blessed. Say hallelujah, then said, <laughs> I'm carrying such a great, the savior of this whole universe, and I'm carrying what else I need. I'm blessed to you. Number two said, one day, the Lord Jesus Christ entered into the Sea of Galilee and asked Peter to bring boat and stood on that and preached the word of God to the people. The second tree, that boat said, Hallelujah, at least I became a big boat to carry my Savior of this universe. What a want of joy, happiness I have. I'm a blessed tree, I'm a useful tree the master. That the third tree, when the soldiers finish all the work, 
to crucify the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross and brought out the cross and put him on the mount of and the big everybody looked at the mount and saluted the Lord Jesus even now today we look upon Jesus every for every situation for everything that we praise him and we salute him this may be a story but it's very meaningful today how many of us really feel that I'm sanctified vessel God has made a useful vessel I'm going to be do my work for the Lord in any aspect of your life aspect of your life shall we commit ourselves unto the mighty hand of the Lord that Lord is going to make you a honorable vessel in the house of the Lord may the Lord good Lord continue to bless everyone on the days to come God bless you